We're in the age of AI. It's inevitable. We're living it. It's in our phones, on our computers, everywhere we look at, our decisions are being influenced and driven by AI. Property seems to a great degree to be immune from it. Not completely. Really? Okay. Or at least there's reluctance to it, to really adopt it, particularly compared to other sectors. But I hear lots of conversations about AI, but it was only when you and I met before Christmas and you actually put some real life examples on the table that I think myself and a lot of people in the room that have been talking about AI for 12 months started to think, oh, okay, that's how it can actually yeah. work. Because otherwise it's just been that rather exciting principle that scares people over 50 and excites people over 20. And, you know, probably one, from a planning point of view, I, I think the real potential within the industry is the councils and the planning teams using AI to streamline the process. I, yes, um, I couldn't agree more. It needs automation. It takes far too long. It does, for, for routine stuff, for, very for routine. grunt work that yeah. needs to be done because the boxes need to be ticked yeah. and the right documents need to be filed to allow more time to make the sensible planning yeah. decisions. Absolutely, to give people the bandwidth to really think about yeah. Yeah. planning. I think the private sector will jump on it quicker. Where I see the real, the dearth of, of you know, the lack of knowledge and exposure to AI is the public sector. And yeah. I, I, I did, um, I did a conference with uh, my local council in uh, Cumberland recently. Yeah. And I, I have a vested interest there because I'm a resident. So yeah. I'm interested to see their housing plans and what their economic plan is going forward. I spent a day with them without one reference to AI. Um, and they get, they're at the gathering data stage okay, yeah. because they need to consult, they need to, uh, to validate um, the data. But wouldn't it be great if they understood how they could actually pull together all the data they need yeah. to have a cohesive economic plan and they can work out exactly what the housing requirements are. Now, a lot of our work is getting firms AI ready, which is actually doing a maturity assessment of their data and saying, actually, A, you have quite good data and B, you can generate some interesting insights with no machine learning, just some, some simple analysis. If you combine this data set with this data set, it will give you X which is a really interesting metric for you to follow. I yes. think half the problem is people don't know where to look for the data. Yeah. And I think there's so much data that it's a bit paralyzing now. In the open market, you have so many providers of raw data that will give you thousands and thousands of data points. It's the combination of all of those, which I think going back to where are the opportunities. Within buildings, we have lots and lots of sensors and IOTs. Within the city, we have lots and lots of data sources and, and data streams. And we have lots of providers that package up all of these data things. Very few players actually bring all of that together to generate real insightful decision-making insights. And I think that's where a lot of opportunities exist. Yeah.